comes to math, you know God knows math. God does math. God's a math intro. By God, when it comes to math, the Lord only does multiplication, not division. Jesus don't do division. Jesus said a house divided against itself cannot or shall not stand. What's the word division comes from the word die or dice? Two, two people with two different visions. Two can't walk together unless they're in agreement. Before the devil tries to cause a divorce, he first wants to separate because he knows two are better than one. And my God, the synergy is so exponential. If you start getting hundreds of believers, thousands in unison and unity, the Tower of Babel guys. God said, if I don't stop them, there's nothing they will not be able to accomplish because they had one mind. They had a mind to do something. Now, it's the same drill, the same gig in Acts chapter two, one mind and one accord. It also stipulates the anointing flows down from the head of Aaron, the anointing, how excellent it is when brethren dwell together in unity. Now, listen to me. I'm gathering the church this September, guys. We're gathering the church. I'm going to gather it in the field, maybe, in churches. We're going to pray. But I'm gathering it on Monday nights, 9 p.m., live stream YouTube. And, of course, Thursdays, 8 p.m., Zoom. You've got to meet me for the Zoom tonight, 8 p.m. Why, Brother Rob? Because the Lord showed me things that are coming. And you're going to need, need to be strengthened. So God can sustain you if you can outlast these tribulations and trials. Now, listen, we just seen it last night, guys. They were saying it was the worst storm in 200 years or 100 years in New Jersey. In New York, I was up till 3.30 in the morning. The water in the street was three to, it was four feet high. That's a, I couldn't, I was, thought I was tri going below, I mean, it was crazy, man. The drains couldn't sustain the water. The basement didn't flood that bad because my house is so set back from the road, but I was up vacuuming some water in the basement. It wasn't that bad. Thank you, Jesus. But the water, in, so we're seeing things stip come to pass that I'm telling you, you want to be braced in position. So again, for the Zoom 8 p.m. tonight, I'm going to pin the ID and passcode in the comments. Why should you meet me? Because the Bible says do not forsake the assembling. Even more so as you see the day approaching. Do you see the day approaching? Let me just suggest this. There's, I'm not going to say there's nothing in this for me if you come on or you don't. Because I, certainly monetarily wise, my... The YouTube's not monetized. My ministry is financed by my own pocket. I'm an entrepreneur. Been on TV 12 years now. My God, whatever, radio. <clears throat> but the point I'm trying to make is we need to strengthen one another. We need to encourage one another while it's cold day. Meet me tonight, 8 p.m. I cannot stress it enough. The Lord's starting to give me some really cool rev revelation about where what we need to be positioned in poise of what's coming on the earth. And with the unity brings about a power. And I said this yesterday, you're not going to get in the aloneness, contemplation, communion with Christ at what you're going to get in the corporate setting. Now, we can't touch each other. We're not in everyone's vicinity, but we're in unity in the spirit all over the earth. So 8 p.m. tonight, Zoom, don't miss it. The Lord bless you. I'll see you, Lord. Hallelujah.